you, you spoke on a breakfast club about uh how it was one of your songs you made a song uh, a lyric about stat quo yeah right <clears throat> and you was basically saying that like he was always telling you what you was doing was wrong basically i'm summing it up he was always and you could correct me but he was always saying what you was doing wrong but he wasn't really telling you how to do it right exactly right and that was frustrating yeah very <clears throat> very frustrating because it's like you feel like somebody knows something that can help you and they not telling you. Mm. That's the worst feeling in the world. Imagine talking to a nigga that it feel like he know exactly what you should be doing and he not telling you. Mm. It almost you feel confused, like, hey, like, well, tell me, you know what I'm saying? And then you start realizing over time, shit, he don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? Like he 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 don't he might not know what it is, but. He just trying to give me what he seen or what he been through. And at times it just felt kind of just like demoralizing. Like we'd be in front of all these corporate people, like in offices. And then he'd just come in there and be like, what are you wearing? Be like, bro, damn, do that when we leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me play my music for these folks and then do what I need to do and then tell them. But he'd just tear me down in front of certain people and then I'm also I'm I'm somebody that's like acceptive to criticism. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sensitive. So you could tell me, but it would never be no solution. It mm -hmm. would just always be just a problem. Mm -hmm. So you tell me problems over and I'm like, all right, how I get it right? Never tell me. Then you hear little things, uh, my freestyle start going viral. People call me, what's that quote? You say you a freestyle rapper. All right. Then you hear certain things after I make a big homie. Stack quote say you can make music, but you'll never sell tickets. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, bro, do you got a personal problem with me or something? Like, what was the uh the actual bar? What was it? Stack quote told me my music just wasn't it, and if I ain't have a gimmick, then people wouldn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how a nigga who ain't made nobody's list can make you feel like you can't go where you trying to get. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Like, cause even even that. It's it sounds like social media, Loki. For sure, it's like all these people behind these computers got everything to say. Right. The difference between Stat is he's an executive, mm. so he's somebody involved in the business and he do it on a high level. So as somebody that's broke artists and built artists and broke records, it's like if you're gonna tell me these things, bro, help me get it right. Like don't just break me down, like because you really in it. You're not somebody just a opinionated ass person on the outskirts of the industry that don't understand it. You get it from all angles. So like, help, help me get it. So I ain't out here looking crazy. Mm. But I never received that information. And it ain't no bad blood towards that. I heard right now he mad at me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? He been telling a few people he's mad at me. But I got love for stat. But at the same time, bro, that's part of my story. You and, know, that's what, and I used to feel a certain way in them meetings when when he had, when he had do that to me, and I and it was right for me to tell my story on my project for the world to know. And that's what I wanted. That's why I wanted to go right. Like you said, it ain't, it ain't no beef. Was you had that? Not saying it's beef because we ain't trying to promote that. But man, I'm saying ain't like no you, beef. If right, I see okay. stat, whether he mad at me or not, I'm gonna shake that nigga hand. There we go. But was you explain to him like you told me, like you've told Charlemagne, like you've told other interviews that like yo. You wasn't really get because I look at it like I don't look at it as a negative thing. I look at it like we got different coaching styles, right? Yeah. So even if on a football team, I can't yell at every single player. Some 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 players have to come at with a different approach so they can get it. Yeah. And when you were saying it, in my mind, I'm just thinking like, damn, what if it's kind of like love language? I'm like, yo, what if he he really meant the best for him for you, right? What if that? Really I'm meant? sure he did. Yeah, it was the way it was communicated exactly. to how I received it. Mm. So technically, I could be wrong for how I received it, technically. You know what I'm saying? Because it probably came from a genuine place mm -hmm. of what he was saying and trying to, that was probably his way of trying to help, help. me get it right. Right, but you he wasn't delivering it but for you to be able to The way it. it was delivered to me was like, damn, bro, you embarrassing me in front of all these people. Right. You know, so I, it, it go both ways. You You don't know, and that's why as a man, when I see the man, I could shake his hand and we could have a disagreement mm. or whatever it may be. But I ain't about to swing on stat when I see him. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to fight that, man. Like, it's love. That's yep. just how I felt. 
No, I, it was just it was just interesting because like you know I have the conversation with my girl all the time when you said it. I was like, damn, like my girl be like, all you do is like. I think the criti- the criticism outweighed the love sometimes. And I'd be like, bro, I'd just be trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? When you said it, kind of hell, I'm like, damn, like somebody could look at it like that. Yeah. Right? And I feel like with the right conversation, a simple, uh, simple conversation could really settle the differences. For sure. Right? That's that's all I was thinking. I was like, I wonder if it's like, are they talking? That's That really was what? Nah, bro, I used to text that man stat like, bro, be, help me, bro. Be my manager. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like what I need to do? Because I thought he... Knew what it was exactly I needed to do to get it right. I text him, I ask him questions every time. Stat, what if I do this? Well, yeah, it, it give me little answers and shit, but it was never no interest. So for me, it was just kind of like, all right, bro, just gonna tear me down every time I come around him, so I don't want to be around him. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, there's certain times I didn't been on the way to certain studios. People like Stat here. I'm like, I ain't going over there. Mm. I don't feel like getting tore down. That makes sense. You know, that, I know what he gonna tell me, and it ain't gonna be nothing to help me get it right. Let me go somewhere where somebody can help me get it right. 